Hey guys, and welcome back. Um, I'm Halfpick, and this is part three of my industrial craft tutorial. Today, we're going to cover how to make one of our last machines, the compressor, uh, what we can do with that, which will include fuels, uh, both bio and regular, and what to do once your MFE transmitter fills up to capacity. And that's the answer sitting right there, honestly, but we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, the first thing, obviously, like I said, is going to be our compressor. And a compressor is made with six smooth stone, one machine block, and one electro electric circuit. Machine block in the center, electric circuit in the top middle, and then sur surround both sides with smooth stone, and you get the compressor. And we're going to set that right beside the other one that I had made. Crank it open. And here's your input, the work bar, and the output box. So what do we use compressors for? Well, as I mentioned, uh, my, or excuse me, Industrial Craft gives you the uh, option of making fuel, uh, as opposed to just burning wood, wood products, and coal all the time. Uh, fuel produces lots and lots and lots and lots of energy um, and it's eh, it's only minorly difficult to produce so a few things you're going to need first uh, we're going to concentrate on biofuel uh, to start off uh, you're going to need either saplings or seeds and you will also need um, five pieces of tin bars or ingots whatever you want to call them so we're going to head back to our crafting table, and we're going to load saplings. You're going to need at least 27 of them into the crafting grid, like so. And nine of those will make one plant clump. So finish filling this out. Take our three plant clumps, and we're going to head over to our compressor. And we're going to throw them in there, and this is your compressor at work. The bar fills up, and eventually that will finish. And once it's finished, it will turn into compressed plant clumps. And this is the second stage of making biofuel. So we're going to take this, line it down the middle, and we're going to take our tin and make a container. And voila, we get biofuel, although it's clumpy biofuel. Now, clumpy biofuel does not burn, period. So if we went up here and we chucked it in the bottom, uh, if this was already burnt down, rather, uh, this would not burn in our generators or furnaces. So in order to make it usable, we need to go to our extractor and toss it in there, and that's going to pull out all the clumpy portions of that and actually make it useful. And as you can see here, we now have regular biofuel. Um, biofuel, lots and lots of energy in that. And this will burn for quite a while. And looks like we filled up one transmitter and we're working on the next one. Uh, the next type of fuel is made out of coal. So you're going to need three pieces of coal dust and water enough for each piece. You can use um, more than one bucket or just one bucket. I just had three setting there so I will use three. So go back over to crafting table. We're going to take our coal dust which uh, coal dust we get from putting coal into a macerator and it's one for one. One piece of coal gives you one piece of coal dust. Put the water underneath it and we get hydrated coal dust. Click that, remove the bucket and repeat three times. Now we're going to take that, and before we can do anything with it, we actually need to throw it back into the compressor again. So once that's done uh, compressing, you will have compressed hydrated coal clumps, which we then can craft into fuel. And just like the plant version, right down the center, tin to either side, and we get clumpy fuel, which we then throw into the extractor, 
and after it's finished we have fuel. And we will take this and put it in here and once that's finished burning down it will consume that fuel and begin depositing it into our MFEs. Now that we've gone over the recipes for both of the fuels, uh, we'll cover what to do when your MFE fills up. So this is the case. You can't burn anything else and uh, you might have a big project that you're planning and you're going to need to run all your ovens and macerators and compressors and other doodads for long periods of time um, and use up most of this. So you're going to want to have more energy on hand or you just have um, lots of generators on hand too and you've, you, you've bit off more than you can chew and you've, you're starting to get close to the cap. Well, MFEs can be daisy chained like so. So the top MFE your very first MFE in the line will always be the one that you connect your generators to. Uh, reason being, uh, energy flows from one MFE to the other, and you want to have max the maximum amount of storage possible. So if you threw the gener if you put your generators here, it would fill up this MFE and this MFE, but this poor little guy wouldn't get any. Kind of like the three little pigs or whatever. Uh, what other fairy tale I guess would apply to that um, so step one generators on the first MFE and you're going to take the first one and you're going to wire the output so top or bottom and then you're going to take your next MFE and you're going to wire to its input so IE on one of the four sides and then from that one, you're just going to repeat the process, output to input, output to input, output to input, as many of those as you would care to do. And you can change the shape. Um, you could go top to bottom, bottom to top. Uh, some people do them in squares. Um, I just did this for simplicity's sake to show uh, that so it's easily visible. And now we have our fuel burning. It's still chugging all the way in there. That MFE is filled this one's filling and this one as you can see the numbers are jumping it's getting energy from the generator but it's immediately sending it down the line to the next MFE. I would be remiss if I didn't put this last machine in here and there are obviously other machines to make but this is uh, another one that has uh, some mild usefulness uh, and that is called the canner uh, if you notice in my inventory right now I have five pieces of bread and that five pieces of bread will never stack ever so it sucks up a lot of room your pork chops take up a lot of room uh, fish anything else that you you have uh, just won't stack unless of course you have some sort of mod that does it for you well this is some sort of mod that'll do it for you but you have to have the, the appropriate machines and it's called a canner so just let me collect my materials here. And the first thing you're going to do, uh, or notice rather, is that canners don't require machine blocks, which is pretty cool. What we got here are iron ingots, we have an electric circuit, and one tree tap, and that gives us a canning machine. And we'll take this canner, and we'll hook it up to the line here and uh, this is the interface for a canning machine. Your food goes in the top and what goes in the bottom here are tin cans which are sitting on my shelf here. I made some ahead of time but to make them you need seven pieces of tin and just make a can shape of sorts and each craft gives you eight cans. So you have plenty of cans here uh, put them in the bottom and then you'll put your food in the top slot. So take our bread, throw it up there and the machine will can it for us. Now how many cans it takes to can a specific piece of food is determined by how many hearts it restores. So if you throw a golden apple in there uh, it's going to take 10 cans. If you throw a piece of bread like we're doing it's going to make 3 cans before it finishes through. So now we have canned food. 
And something important to note here is that canned food, while closed, will stack. However, once you open it, it follows the same rules as uh, regular food and will not stack. So here I opened up all these cans and now they're all in single stacks. And when you use them you get one heart and an empty can back. So you actually don't have to keep making more tin cans as long as you don't lose these or waste them. Um, which is actually really, really convenient. Which goes along with having canned food, I guess. Now of course there are um, lots of crafting recipes left. There's um, several new generators aside from the regular generator. Um, there's high voltage cables yet to cover uh, and several other really useful tools uh, just yet. So with that in mind our next video will concentrate on um, new generators, uh, mostly solar geothermal and nuclear, how to wire those effectively, and also um, how to craft some of the more advanced um, pieces of machinery uh, such as drills, uh, diamond drills, mining automatic miners, excuse me, and their necessary components. So, thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next vid.